Welcome to the overview of using the points feature. During this video, we will review the following. Different types of points. How to add a new point. How to edit and respond to a point. How to close or delete a point and how to create an email using the points feature. The points feature is important because it allows users to share information relevant to other users for completing tasks. The feature helps build transparency, communication, and efficiency of sharing information, thereby enhancing the level of service you can provide to your clients. The points related to a specific task can be accessed within the control sheet or the task page in the points section. Users can also add a new point by selecting add points from the action bar on the my view page or from the search results. Users can access the points for a task by selecting the link under the points column in the my view or search results page. The user can view the number of open points out of the total number of points for the task. There are four categories of points. Knowledge, instructions, questions, and review points. Knowledge and instructions contains information the user would like to share about the client or engagement that will aid in executing the work. For example, knowledge may include a note that an individual's tax client is getting married this year or selling their home or that an audit client is undergoing litigation or selling off a portion of their business. Instructions could include reminders to follow up with the client on their litigation matter or to obtain an updated copy of records from your client. Questions include any questions encountered in the course of performing the work. It can be directed either to the client or someone within your organization. It is recommended to phrase these questions in a manner that you will be comfortable sharing directly with your client. Workflow can populate an email message with these questions, which we will discuss later in this video. Review points typically include any observations for the task that needs to be communicated to the preparer. Now let's add a point to the task. Users can add a point by clicking the add point in the upper right hand corner of the points page. First select the type of point you would like to add. Then select the period end to which the point applies. Selecting the current period end. This indicates that the entry applies to only the current period end and will not carry over to the subsequent period end. Next period end. This means the entry will have its status closed for the current period. And it will automatically roll over with the status of open when the task is rolled over to the next period. Current and next period end. This means the entry will be open for both the current and next period end. And it will automatically carry forward during rollover. Selecting permanent means the entry will remain open. And it will be carried forward through future rollover of the task. Users can also select prior year amount or reference number as applicable. They can also check on the extension box if this point applies to an extension. Once all the applicable fields are filled in, the user can enter the point in the text box. Clicking Save and Add New indicates the user is likely to add additional points. Clicking Save and Close brings the user back to the updated point screen. The user will now see that the point has been added under questions in the point screen. Users can also create an email using the points feature. To email points to a client, Select the boxes to the left of the appropriate point and click Create Email. This will open the user's default email application. Users will see the To field, will populate with the email address of their client from the client database. All of these fields can be edited once the message is populated. Users can customize the language they would like to use. As mentioned earlier, it's a good idea to phrase your points as though they will be directly emailed to the client. Users can add a response to a point by editing the field directly. Simply double-click in the response field of the point they would like to respond to. Users will see the pop-up window appear and they can type the response. Selecting Save and Close indicates the user would like to save their response and close the point. Selecting Save and Open indicates the user would like to update the response, but they would like to leave the point open. If the user closes the point, the status will update automatically to closed. Once the user edits the response to a point, the response column is updated with the date of closure and the user's name. The by whom column will update with the user's initials. Closing the point will also have the point not appear on the open points report. The closed point will also reflect in the number of open points under the points column in the my view and search result pages. Users can reopen a closed point by editing the status to open. To delete a point, the user can click the trash icon under the delete column. A refresh button will appear, indicating that the user can undo the delete if they would like. Once all the changes are made, be sure to click save. This concludes this video tutorial on the points feature. 